The nighttime economy, restaurants, bars, theatres, is central to the success of our towns and cities. We're spending more than we've ever done on nights out. But how do you make it better? How do you make it more accessible? And can you appeal to those who don't want to drink? Well, Greater Manchester now has a nighttime economy czar who has drawn up an action plan. Eunice Muller went to find out more. A thriving nightlife. But how do you get more of this into areas like Wigan, Oldham and Stockport? It's not just all about the city centre for me. It's about the towns, the all ten boroughs. In Altrincham, regeneration around the market hall has boosted the nighttime economy. We know the traditional high streets are dying off. We know the reasons why the internet age and everything. So the nighttime economy now is supporting the high streets. There are more independent restaurants and bars. We find it quite easy, particularly to bring the family out together. Enjoy being out with them because we have a nice time and we talk a lot. It feels really safe, really safe. There's lots of families out here doing the same as us. Around 414,000 employees work between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. And since 2001, employment has grown 45% faster than the rest of the Greater Manchester economy. At the refuge in central Manchester, the emphasis is on retaining staff. You need to speak to people and find out what's important to them, what things are what works for them, things like work-life balance, things like the hours that they work per week, what time they're going to finish. Since it began in Paris, Nuit Blanche, an all-night festival of arts and culture, has spread to 30 cities across the world. The plan is to bring later opening hours to Greater Manchester. Once you make it inclusive and it's not just a full drink environment, that's when it starts to work. And there's talk of at least one permanent safety haven as part of a series of safety measures. It's just gone past midnight and soon you'll run out of options when it comes to trams or buses. And the heart of any nighttime economy is, of course, transport. Doctors and nurses who are finishing here at 4 or 5 in the morning, how do they get back home? Whether it's getting on a nighttime bus or, or a tram in the evening, there are people who are genuinely concerned about their safety. This is the first time a nighttime transport survey has ever been launched in Greater Manchester. I would suggest that they go back to the government and actually say, look, this is what people want. We need some more funding to make this happen. Having a truly 24-hour region is an ambitious target. We're told to expect some changes by April 2020. Ines Muller, BBC Northwest.